have you ever experienced talking about something with your friends, then a few minutes later, that thing you are talking about suddenly appears as an ads in your phone? Or maybe visiting a place, and an ad of a store nearby suddenly pops up. Or maybe an ad related to something that you searched a few minutes ago. That's not magic, and neither a coincidence. It is called a targeted advertising. Believe it or not, giant social media networks, like Facebook, always know where you go, which TV shows and films you enjoy, and who your friends are. That's because you, unconsciously, willingly gave up that information. You give this information every time, by tagging the place of your posts, adding hashtags, putting up pictures of things and places you like and do. Plus Facebook also have pieces in place that gathers data behind your back. Generally, you have the option to turn them off, but Facebook does not tell you about it. Why? Well, it helps them pinpoint your location and interests to serve you with a targeted advertising. So in this video, I will help you locate those backstage data gathering tools and settings, and show you how to turn them off. Let's begin. Alright. We of course need to open our Facebook account first. Then let's click on our profile icon from the top right corner of the screen. Then go to settings and privacy, then to settings. The first thing that we are going to do is to turn off Facebook's location tracking. Yes. Facebook tracks our location. From the settings page, in the left pane menu, click on the your Facebook information item. This will open several menu options in the center page. Let's go to access your information. Just click on that to open. This will open a new page. From the new set of left side menus, click on the logged information. Then from the logged information items, under the location section, click on the location history. You might be asked to enter your password to access location history. Just enter them when asked. I've already turned it off here, so you only see a blank screen, but if you haven't turned this location tracking off yet, this screen will list all the places that Facebook has tracked from your account. You will of course have a setting here to turn off this location tracking. When off, you will deny Facebook an access to your GPS location, thus, they will stop tracking you. I'm sorry that I cannot show you those details. That is because I cannot turn on the Facebook location tracking anymore. And that is a really good news. When you click on location settings link here to manage your location data, you will see a screen that Facebook has quietly updated last May 2022. It states, the location history setting is no longer available, and the experiences it made possible have been disabled, even if your setting was previously enabled. It seems that Meta, Facebook's parent company, turned off that automatic location tracking last May, and a Facebook spokesperson said that it was due to low usage. You're right. For now, you can still manually delete your location entries from the previous page I've shown, and then Facebook will completely delete all the stored location history from everyone's account by August 1, 2022. Just like their collections of facial recognition data, which came under fire for some of its business practices, last November of 2021, Facebook will stop and purge the information from their databases. At least, they listen to the items that their subscribers do not approve of. Plus points for Facebook. Okay. Let's now tackle the off Facebook activity that Facebook is tracking. Let's go back to the settings, then your Facebook information. From the list here, let's click on the off Facebook activity. When you close your Facebook application, it is not really closed. There is still a Facebook service running in the background of your phone, which tracks all your activities outside of Facebook. The apps you are using, the sites you visited, the search keywords you use, your location, and more. They use this information for a targeted ads, and sometimes, it ends up to other big data and analytics company to use them for their own benefits. Like Cambridge Analytica for example. And that's not good at all. So I'm going to teach you how to disable this. From this page, you will be able to see your recent activities. I have disabled this so you won't see anything here from me, but this page should show all your activities outside Facebook, like visiting a shaky site for example, when you ordered your dinner. Or a Samsung online store when you check out the latest phones or even Pornhub, when you had your nightly routine. Yes. Even that can be tracked by Facebook. It's like a keylogger level dangerous. So be aware. From here, you have an option to clear your off Facebook activities. If you don't want to disable this feature, I suggest clearing this at least once a day. You also have an option here to select what items you can disconnect for the off Facebook activity. Further below, you can open the activity list, which is basically the same as the page earlier. You also have another option here to clear your previous off Facebook activities. Also the same button as with the previous page. And lastly, we have the disconnect future activity. This is where you can turn off the whole tracking. If you want to disable the whole off Facebook activity tracking, just toggle the switch off. It will ask a confirmation when you do that. Just click confirm. 
Now Facebook will stop tracking your activities outside of Facebook to be on the safe side, and if you value your privacy, I highly recommend that you turn this off. Facebook should just be about Facebook. It should not be snooping on what you do outside of Facebook. Now let's go to the pesky Facebook ads. The ads doesn't really affect your privacy that much, but it is also a data bloat from your Facebook account that you should clean. Let's go back to the settings, then at the bottommost area of the left side menu, you will see ads. Let's click on that. You will have three sections here for the ads. At the top one is the advertisers. This page will list all the advertisers' Facebook pages that you have recently looked at. You can click see more to view the full recent list. If you are not interested to any of them and want to disable ads from them, you can click the hide ads button beside the advertiser. There you go. Wonderbly ads are now hidden from me. Below here, you can also see the list of all the advertisers that you have hidden. As usual, you can click see more to view the whole list. If you changed your mind and want to see the ads from any of the advertisers here, you can just click the undo button beside it. Lastly on this section, we also have an option here for the advertisers whose ads you've clicked. The list earlier are the recent advertisers, and this list here is the full list of all the advertisers you have clicked on or visited the Facebook pages of. It's the same process, just hide the ads if you are not interested on them. So that's the advertiser section. Now let's go to the ad topics. Based on your activities that has been tracked on and off Facebook, there are certain topics being added to your account. Then the advertisers uses this data to push a targeted ads for you. Unfortunately, there is no way to delete any topics here. All you can do is click on a topic. Then set to see less of it. Another unfortunate thing about this is, this data is huge, and there's also no way to set them to see less in bulk. You will need to do it one by one. So you will really need to allocate time to clean up your ad topics. See here, I might have about a thousand topics listed here. It's a long list. Below, you will see the list of the topics that you have set to see less of. Let's now go to the ad settings. You can read some FAQ here at the top. Then we have several setting items here below. The first one is the data about your activity from partners. You can read through the details under the what you should know section to learn more about this setting. This setting, when enabled, basically grants Facebook to share your activity data on and off Facebook to the advertisers so that they can push targeted advertisement to you. So, you know what to do. Just toggle this switch here to not allow to limit the sharing of your activity data to other people or corporation. Next is categories to reach you. When enabled, you are giving Facebook the rights to share your personal information, like your employer, job title, educational background and relationship status, to the advertisers, so that the advertisers can use it for, again, their targeted ads. You can choose to enable any of the categories here if you want to receive ads based on that category, but I will highly recommend against it. It will be a lot safer to switch them all off. If you have any other categories set on your account, you can click the other category option here below to view and switch them on or off as well. I have none. On to the audience-based advertising. So these advertisers also has a list of Facebook users which they call their audience. The list is created based on the user data gathered by Facebook and sent to the advertisers. You will see a list of advertisers here who included you in their audience list. If you don't want an advertiser to use that list to push an ad to you, you can click on a certain advertiser here. Then click on the they uploaded or used a list to reach you. Then click on the don't allow button to disable them from using their audience list for a targeted ad to you. We don't know if they will take you out of their list, probably not, but at least they will know that you are not interested in their ads. Next one is the ads shown off of Facebook. See, Facebook also provides an advertising services. So, even if you are browsing from different site out of Facebook, but that site has acquired Facebook's advertising services. Facebook can still use you Facebook data and pop up a targeted ad to you, even when you are using other apps or using other sites. Yes, Facebook's reach does not end in Facebook. It is basically everywhere. Your Facebook data is being used everywhere. Needless to say, I recommend to turn this setting off as well. Disable it. Lastly, we have the social interaction setting. This setting is about giving Facebook the rights to share a page that you have liked to the other Facebook users. Basically using your own activity to promote a page you like to your friends. I personally don't like seeing my friends' page like histories. So I also don't like them to see the pages that I liked. That's why, personally, I will set this to only me. But it's your choice, if you want your friends to know what pages you liked. For me, that's annoying, so my suggestion is to keep that to yourself and set this to only me. But that's only me, pun intended. Alright. That's all I want to share on this video. 
I hope by watching this, you have realized how wide the reach of Facebook is, and how far they can take your personal data, how many people, company, corporations can acquire those personal data and use them for their personal gain. Always be a responsible online and social media user. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobut Air.